has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts. With respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist, this guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see it. I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. him to stand up with him. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Needs a big knee. Nice kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Gedalia gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Just misses with the left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He lands flush with that right hand. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right on the button. Back and forth we go here. Try to establish that jab. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, that's a good strike there by Gedalia. Choi gets hit by that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. Gedalia's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Big leg kick lands. Back to the jab now, no good. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Ooh, 
big shot lands. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and he's soft. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the straight right. Nice. Back to the overhand right, not there. Just missing on the counter there. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily win. Joy gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. <laughs> Look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice head kick. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Beautiful knee. Oh, straight right. Big kick land. They continue to exchange. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, collar tie. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Oh, head kick blocked, though, by Choi. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out. Hey! Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of the court? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire.
All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Whiffs on the right hand. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him in this fight. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're using. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes. He continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course. But you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Single collar time now. Ah, ah, ah. And that's the end of round number two. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Delia's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. How good is that right hand? So once again, making good use of the reach advantage as he lands another jet. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Man, DC is here. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. What a fight we got going on here. <laughs> nice kicks there by Shaw. Nice right hand. Swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Blocks the shot. Ooh, what a punch. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. And they separate. Good 
Choi gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Relax, relax. Keep your back and forth we go! Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landed far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Good punch, Lance. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Gedalia's knee to the body is blocked. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Just out of range with the big right hand. Hands high, hands high. Take it off side. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Just misses there with the left. Lands the double jab. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. 20 seconds left. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, a huge block there. Check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. Nice kick. Just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. 
finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 57 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl.